Hey everyone, Chef Lisa here with Revive Wellness and my Viva Plan. Today I'm making a really simple, really tasty vegetable side dish. We're doing some roasted cauliflower and I'm going to jazz it up with some Parmesan cheese for some flavor. However, if you're just looking for a basic roasted cauliflower recipe, you can still follow along with this whole recipe and just leave out the Parmesan portion and it's going to turn out great. So feel free to do that if you'd like. So the first thing we need to do is kind of deal with our cauliflower here. <laughs> the number one thing that I hear from people about cauliflower is that they look at it and just think like, I don't want to deal with this. And I totally get that because, I mean, you see all these leaves and you just don't want to have to wrestle with it. So I'm going to simplify that a little bit today with a couple tricks. So the first thing we want to go in and do is cut it right through the middle. Now, typically, this actually isn't recommended to cut through the crown of the cauliflower and through the florets because that's where the mess gets made with all those little bits everywhere. But we're just doing it once and I promise it's worthwhile. Okay, so we have our two halves of our cauliflower here and we have a bit of a cross section going here and that's helpful because now we can see where the leaves stop growing on the stalk. So we're gonna use that information and we're gonna take our knife, you can use a paring knife or you can use your chef's knife, whatever you're more, more comfortable with. We're just gonna make an incision where the leaves stop growing here. Sounds very surgical, doesn't it? We're making, we're doing cauliflower surgery here. Okay, and so now we can just pull those leaves off all in one, just like that. So, so little mess. Wow, this had a lot of leaves on it. This is a, an unusually leafy cauliflower. Um, so, so much less mess, so quick and easy, and no wrestling involved. So that's the best part. So we're gonna do that again on the other side. Little incision through the stalk, and then pull all those leaves away. Like it's just, it's magical, isn't it? There might be a few little rogue leaves there. You can just kind of snap those little baby ones off. Okay, now we need to cut into some florets. And here's where you do want to avoid cutting through the top here to make those little annoying bits everywhere. So you can kind of break it up into big pieces if you want by hand, or you can use your knife and just sort of cut uh, through the stalk. And you'll, you can kind of see where it sort of naturally breaks apart, branches off here. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we want to cut it into smaller florets, the size we're actually going to eat. And here's where you want to cut again through the stalk. So some pieces will just naturally end up being the right size. And we're going to put this into a ginormous bowl here. Too big of a bowl, but we want room to work here. And then here, this piece is big. So we're going to cut through the stalk only and then kind of pull it apart gently with our fingers. And again, I'm going to do that again here and get some smaller pieces. So kind of that size is what you're looking for into the bowl and continue on until you have all of your florets cut. Okay, so we're just going to finish up the last few florets here. Now, once we have all the florets into our giant bowl, we're going to go in with some olive oil. So this is going to obviously provide some great flavor um, and it's going to pr uh, promote some of that browning and caramelization. So you want some of that crispiness and of course it's going to help our seasonings to stick as well. So I'm, there wasn't that much cauliflower here so I'm, I kind of went in with like half a tablespoon of oil. If you are doing a double recipe or if you have a really large head of cauliflower you can do a little more. And then a little bit of salt. I'm going to be pretty conservative with the salt today. Um, because we're using Parmesan cheese and Parmesan cheese is salty. So you don't want to go too crazy there. Some cracked black pepper here. You can do as little or as much as you want of the pepper, really. I like a lot on mine, as you can tell. And now I'm going to actually go in with my hands. You can use a spatula or some tongs, or you can kind of toss it. I just like using my hands because it's a little more gentle and because you, you don't want your florets to break up anymore. They can be a little bit fragile. So you do want them to be, you know, stay whole. And, you, and this way you can also feel that each of the florets has kind of gotten all that seasoning and the oil in every little nook and cranny. Now, if you're doing the 
just plain roasted cauliflower without the Parmesan mixture, you can do this right on your baking sheet and save a bowl for your dishes. It's um, a lot quicker that way. But we're gonna put our Parmesan cheese mixture in next and I like to do that in the bowl. So I have Parmesan cheese here that I've already grated. Um, I did use block Parmesan cheese and that is totally required for this recipe, I think. You don't wanna use the stuff that's pre-shredded in a bag or in a tub at the store because it's just gonna fall off. It's not gonna stick on your cauliflower and that's really just a waste of perfectly good Parmesan cheese. So I used a block of Parmesan and grated it with a microplane grater or you can use a rasp style grater. So you get a really fluffy texture um, in your cheese and that's what you want. That's what's gonna help it to stick. Um, and then I have a little bit of cornstarch here. So I think it's about close to a tablespoon or so. And then we're gonna add that into our cheese and then just stir that up with the spoon until it kind of mixes up. So the cornstarch helps the, helps the cheese to stick. It helps it to kind of crisp up in the oven as well. So a few different advantages to that there. Kind of get that mixed up. And now we're gonna add this to our cauliflower. And now here I do like to just actually toss it a little bit gently, as, as gently as you can without breaking them up. Can use a spatula here as well, kind of get it all tossed in there. So I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but having that grated Parmesan on the microplane really makes it so that it sticks nicely to the cauliflower. Okay, we're gonna transfer this now to our baking sheet. Get that all on there. Now there's always gonna be a little bit of that cheese mixture left behind in the bowl. So you can scrape that out and kinda just get it on top there. Okay, and now we just wanna spread it out into a single layer. Kinda get the cut sides down if you can so that it gets nice and browned on those sides. You really want to try and get it in a single layer. Okay, so now our oven, it's gonna be a fairly hot oven, 425 Fahrenheit. And we're gonna cook these for about 15 minutes. So not very long because that temperature is so high, it's gonna cook pretty quickly. And in that time, the bottoms of these are gonna start to brown nicely. At that point, we're gonna take it out of the oven, give them a little flip um, and let them brown on the second side for about seven minutes or so. You can kind of watch it in the oven. You'll, you can see with your own oven, it's, it might vary a little bit. So five to seven minutes or so. All right, as you can see, this cauliflower has taken on such a nice browned color. It's caramelized, it's sweet, it's tender. That Parmesan cheese is a flavor bomb. Honestly, it just takes this dish to the next level. So whether you're new to preparing cauliflower or maybe looking to give cauliflower a second chance, <laughs> I hope you give this recipe a try because it is truly a game changer. So please enjoy. And as usual, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.